My name is Aaron Patterson and uh, I'm from Northern Ireland in a small town called Cumber and uh, today my friends asked me to just talk about something that God has done in my life. As a child I was always raised uh, in a Christian environment. I was always taught the Christian life, uh, what to do, what not to do and it was quite a standard uh, life for myself. Uh, up until about 2013, whenever I really started to question things, and I think everyone goes through a bit of a time where they uh, they start to think, you know, is this real? But whenever I was about 15, uh, or thereabouts, I really had a special encounter with the Lord. And I believe that I was a Christian. I believe that I was born again. And uh, I am very, very thankful for that. It's very powerful. Uh, and in the spirit realm, the Bible talks about how God takes up residence on the inside of us and how we become the temple of the Holy Spirit when we believe in Him. And I believe that happened whenever I was two. But whenever I was 15, um, I, I, I had started to learn about something uh, slightly different. A second experience with, uh, with the Holy Spirit and uh, something called the baptism of the Holy Spirit or the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And it actually came down to one night in particular, and I can't remember the date, um, I, I can only remember that it was late and that I couldn't sleep. And that uh, I was actually listening to a preacher called Andrew Womack, a brilliant teacher, fantastic teacher. And uh, I can't even remember what he was talking about with the actual sermon, as far as that's concerned. Uh, all I can remember is him at the very end, me nearly asleep, of his sermon, uh, just saying, okay, let's pray. And I can't even remember what he prayed at the start. All I remember is him at the end saying, oh Lord, at the end of his prayer, him saying, oh Lord, baptize us with your Holy Spirit. And me just sat up with my eyes closed uh, on my bed at about 1 or 2 a.m., just like this here, nothing spectacular. I just said, Amen, to him saying, fill us with your Holy Spirit. And as soon as I said, Amen, what felt like an incredible power rushed through my whole body, from my head to my feet. And uh, it wasn't like regular, you know, like a tingle. Like, uh, you know, you get excited, you feel a tingle down the back of your spine. This was not at the back of my spine. This was over my face, over my whole body. And I could feel it going down my shoulders multiple times. And it couldn't have even been me because I actually didn't even realize what I did at that time. All I was doing was sitting in my bed and I just said amen to this guy's prayer, this random guy that I uh, had never heard before really. It wasn't until the following week to where I started to notice things, to where I'd look about and I'd just look around and I would see things differently and I would actually start to hear things. I would look at someone and I would actually hear um, their their uh, emotions in my in my mind that I would start to see them, but not see their face as I would normally see, but that I could literally feel them. And that sounds very strange, but to uh, to look into this, I started asking God, "What is going on here?" And I felt like a newness of power had come upon me. Really, is, is all I can describe it with. And. He gave me a word of knowledge that the week before, that prayer that I prayed on my bed with my eyes closed, that that was me receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit, just like the disciples did in the Bible. And then they took that power and went and healed people. And so I started learning and filling my head with this stuff and this power. I started going into uh, the city of Belfast in Northern Ireland. And I read about in the Bible how Jesus healed people and Jesus said that we will do the same miracles as him and even greater miracles. I think that's John 14, 14, uh, maybe not. But how we will do the same miracles as Jesus and, and heal people of diseases and uh, how uh, the disciples did that. And I went and I seen people healed and I, I seen people delivered just by me on the streets and their sickness would have been healed instantly a lot of the time. And this new power from the baptism of the Holy Spirit that I, I received. And within me, I I started to develop this, this gift that God had given me as well, which is the discernment, discernment of spirits. And uh, that's that turned out to be why I could feel uh, people's 
emotions and I could feel where they were and uh, a lot of cool stuff happened but it was from the baptism of the Holy Spirit that's where the real power came from it's like the spark of life that set ablaze on the inside of me the real power and to then being able to start to hear God with clarity with ease real real ease not even trying to start to hear him talk to me about the future about what's going to happen uh, to explain the past and to interpret the present to be able to hear that with such ease after receiving the power of God the baptism of the Holy Ghost was a new experience for me and that I realized that uh, his sheep hear his voice and anyone who's a sheep whether that be yourself or me or anyone else who's listening that if you're a sheep of God whether you realize it or not you hear God's voice and that it's not a matter of hearing him but a matter of recognizing his voice that is already in your heart that this is a now a testimony to deliver it into the hands of other people so that they can take this exact same seed for yourself listen up as well that you can take the seed of the Word of God and plant it deep within your heart into the secret place where the Lord works and he takes exactly what he says in his word and he makes it real to you so that you have a revelation of it and I would invite you if you would if you'd like to that you would uh, ask the Holy Spirit to baptize you in the Holy to, to, to baptize you in himself in the Holy Spirit and in power and uh, to definitely check it out but uh, God's power works through the baptism of the Holy Spirit in us and we are the temple of the Holy Ghost the body of Christ so I ask you and I invite you to uh, uh, allow him to fill you with his power and teach him, sorry to teach you about uh, what it means to be filled with that power. I really started to push, uh, in a sense, God to give me an answer. Uh, and then in 2015, um, a couple of years back, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and uh, it, it, was, uh, it wasn't malignant. It was a benign brain tumor. The uh, the brain tumor itself was it was it was quite a dramatic um, thing that it would do to me. It would throw me into these seizures that were awful, awful to look at. Um, all I would feel would be a kind of closing in of of my ability to see physically and. Uh, a very very confused state and uh, my my emotions were kind of confused I didn't know how to feel about it didn't know how to react and uh, it really this thing was starting to become a bit of a shadow over my whole life a bit of a dark uh, thing they you know a bit of an evil thing in my uh, in my head in my head like I can't remember the the seizures themselves but I can remember the aftermath I can remember my my granda at one point the second seizure I had he had to deal with it uh, it would throw me into uh, literal seizing to where my body would be rigid and to where foam would start coming out of my mouth and I would completely not remember any of it I have no idea what I look like because I can't even remember it was that bad halfway through it. and all I can remember is my granddad telling me how he thought I was dying in his arms in his house in the in the despair that I was in in the uh, place where I was desperate for uh, a touch from God in a sense I chose to pursue God and I chose to look and find any truths that he had in his word about healing and uh, to my surprise there was a lot about uh, healing in the word of God um, you have verses that talk about how Jesus healed multitudes of people uh, from leprosy, blindness, uh, deafness, lameness um, people who had uh, life destroying sicknesses and I seen these people and within me I felt a very subtle sense of, of hope uh, to where I thought I might not die from this thing 
But this thing that came into my life, this disease, it was unexpected. I had no idea how to respond to it. And so I, I, I thought in, in the simplicity of my mind, well, can God not heal me? And so that's the very thing I pursued. It was difficult because I was fighting against the lie that I was sick, the, the lie that I hadn't been healed. And for a long time, uh, I, I had a, a very real sense of worry. Um, I believe that it was caused by just immense amounts of stress that uh, a young person at my age, being a young person, had been put under uh, with such a heavy thing. And I felt this weight. It was a, it was a very, very heavy thing for uh, me to endure. God really revealed to me what it meant to be a Christian, what it actually meant to have the authentic Holy Spirit living on the inside of me. And these revelations that I'd never had before, not in my heart, I'd never had it in my heart before. And God started to reveal things to me. And uh, uh, amongst that time, I uh, was able to get a firm hold on what it was to be healed and how you were meant to go about it to get healed and that God actually wanted me to be healed. And around that time, not, not too late after, I, was, I, I believe that I was healed of a brain tumor. And uh, the scans, the scans said it was still there. Doctors said it was still there. The seizures said it was still there. And I chose to operate out of what God's word says. And it says that he has already healed me. He has already paid for my healing. And so I chose to stand in the word of God. And uh, as a young person, very confused, very, very worried, um, I chose to believe God. And he healed me of a brain tumor. And I had no seizures. I had no problems. I was completely healed of my sickness. And I was very fortunate to be able to uh, uh, have God act so mercifully upon me. And ever since, it's just been a journey talking about how God is good and testifying, as I'm doing right now, about the good things that he does, and he still does, and he still heals. And I believe that he wants you healed. I believe that he wants me healed and healthy. I believe he's a good God. As I left that place in my life in 2015, as I walked away from that dungeon of uh, confusion, there was things that was left on me, you know, you know, really uh, there getting less and less, but God really took me on a journey and he walked with uh, my hand in his and he led me on this path and uh, I have never seen a side to God like this before and I have never seen beauty like it before um, he has shown me himself his nature his character he actually told me that he wants me to be healed that he wants me to be healthy I remember the night that he told me that in my heart I felt him and the emotion that I felt after that was very, very, uh, once again, relieving. That it was leaving that place of despair and walking with God hand in hand into the place of His promise, which includes healing. And uh, I am so thankful. All glory to God. And He's real. His power is real. And uh, since then, God has been directing my life. He's been showing me things, teaching me things, showing me new people, making connections, and uh, really transforming my heart into someone who he wants me to be. And I give all the glory to God, and I'm just excited to see what else he has in store for me. I'm 103, 2 to 3. Uh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and don't forget any of his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. And ever since, that's just been ringing a bell with me and really making sense. And I believe that God wants to break through to every single person that if you're sitting here watching this video 
that if you would just open up your heart to let the Holy Spirit teach you, I believe he wants to. I actually, I firmly believe that. And uh, I don't believe it's pie in the sky. I believe it's realistic. I believe that he is there listening to you. I believe he hears you as he heard me. I believe that he is powerful and able to do anything that uh, he needs to do.